Yeah, guys. Neo video. Just feels like Christmas, guys. The anticipation. Anyway. It's pre-market. Rather. After hours trading. Stock's moving up. Neo stock we're talking about, guys. Could be bigger. Could end up being bigger than Tesla. It's early days, guys. Anyway, we're talking about Neo stock. And there was some donut left me a comment earlier on in one of my other videos. Go and check it out, guys. He said that Neo is going down to three dollars. Right? Well, <clears throat> you can see price in Neo currently. 480 guys 480 right so obviously he's a basher he's a neo basher you get him you get him you know no clue clueless you know guys it's moving up it's pre-market guys and i've got to tell you this can you hear me Press the thumbs up button if you can hear me. Like, like the video, guys. Like the video. Yeah, because I'm filming this late. Right? It's the 20th now. I'm in the UK. It's the 20th. November 2024. It's coming up to 5 minutes past 1 a.m. And the, um, the Asian market, guys, is going to open soon. It's going to open first, right? So then, shortly after that, some point in the Asian morning, I'm, I'm assuming it. I'm assuming that the revenues are going to come out, right? Even though it's listed on the US stock market, I think that the revenues, Asian time, will come out. I told you guys it's already been like if this wasn't bashed down it would have spiked up to like nine dollars already but it got bashed down again and we're gonna change the chart yeah diamond hands all the way guys diamond hands put it on a 10 minute chart for you look how much it spiked up on this account my average is 480 Look at the spike, guys. And pre, after after hours trading, four eighty two, it's just slightly above my average. Right, see that in the last ten minutes, it spiked up. Someone knows something, right? Well, this is it, guys. Like, it's only a matter of time. The news has to be good. So, what we doing? diamond hands all the way because it's neo stock it could end up being bigger than tesla and at the end of the day why i say that is because there's rumors that tesla uh sorry that neo could possibly partner up with another ev could be byd there's a, a rumor going around don't know how true it is but, you know, it would, um, it would send Neo into the rock star, like, you know, prominence. Neo would go $20, $30 instantly. It's possible, guys. Anyway, there's a rumor going around about, you know, Neo merging with uh, BYD. As I say, Tesla, they, they're missing the game. Like, they're missing the trick. They could partner with Neo. And, but, you know, they, what it is, they're greedy, you see. And the Tesla owners, they want to keep China out because they know China's powerful. But it's only going to hurt the economy, the American economy overall. You know, the greed and the pride. 
going to hurt the American economy. That's why the prices are going to go up. Because people, consumers in America, they want the cheaper products that the same products are better than their, their own products. Like Neo cars are better than Tesla. You know. So long term it's going to hurt the American economy guys. The prices are going to go up. And um, they can't even meet demand. All the manufacturers, not just Tesla, but other manufacturers can't meet EV demand. Anyway, the point is that, you know, Neo could end up being bigger than Tesla because, you know, Neo doing cars, Tesla doing cars, Neo doing semiconductors, Tesla do tech. All that Tesla does, Neo does and or can do, right? Given time, can do. So, you know, it's only a matter of time. That's why Neo stock could end up being bigger than Tesla stock. And uh, I think revenues are going to be good. I think it was bashed down again because of fear mongering again, you know. But I think uh, time will tell the 20th revenues. But not just that, whatever happens with revenues, we've got 21st December to come to look forward to regarding the firefly. And this is the 10 minute chart, guys. Right. All that rubbish about, you know, insurance registrations is all hogwash because that's the one hour chart. Because, as I said, like lease companies, rental companies, they don't insure uh, individual vehicles. They have it on a block block policy. Anyway, guys, like, look, because I say revenues will be coming out soon. Um, this could be good. Numbers are increasing year on year. So we expect some good news. So, it's a, I think it's about 9 a.m. now in China, something like that. Should be about 9 a.m. So it's only a matter of time. This could shoot up, guys. This could this could shoot up. I'm expecting this stock price of Neo to be around about nine dollars before the end of the year, if not higher. I've actually, I wanted to put out a video before this video about a pattern. I discovered a pattern, I wanted to make a video on it, but I was waiting for a thumbnail that didn't arrive and it delayed me, delayed me, and I didn't make the video. But I've discovered a pattern, guys. I'll just talk about it. I'm not going to show it to you because I want to make a video about it. But it might be too late to make a video if the price shoots up. But basically, I spotted a pattern that is, if it repeats, it tells me, that what it shows, the price action, it shows that Neo stock is due to... Um, just double, just over double, right? Um, so that would mean <clears throat> we'd be looking at basically about nine dollars because currently you're looking at four. Uh, well, it's it actually it'll go over nine dollars because well, actually. It was based on the when it was down, when it when the price was like four fifty. So I worked it out. It was it was going to be like nine fifty, but now it's moved up. Well, I could still say roughly 
950 because it was based on when the price was about 440 450 so uh, that pattern i discovered when i was analyzing the uh, price action it's basically it, it was a clear cut like picture i wanted to show it to you as i said i probably should get round to doing it making the video but you'd be amazed if you see it um and that's how that's how i call it right that's how i called it right most of the time at neo stock as you know it's by uh looking at the patterns uh they're very good indicators believe it or not better better than the indicators that trading platforms allow you to use which are really just moving averages but moving averages are only reacting to you know to wherever the price is moving they don't like obviously they work sometimes people follow them two lines three lines if it goes over the lines it's going to go up goes below is going to go down obviously it's 50 50 sometimes it happens sometimes it doesn't so, so overall they're not an accurate they could right when it when they when they do work it's like 50 50 as i said as i said so like, let's say let's say it goes over the line and that's the sign it's going to go up let's say it does go up but that those indicators won't tell you how high it's going to go up and you've got to really do some digging and look like, you know, analyze with other indicators and so on. It's, 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 it's a minefield. Well, I do it differently. I do it based on, um, you know, overall pattern, the overall patterns, the trend and the patterns within the trend. And that's how I called it right. I proved it. And no one else can do that because it's a... Uh, as I say, the superhuman powers, guys. But anyway, I wanted to show it to you to prove it. But as I said, I'm delayed, I'm delayed, I'm delayed. But as I say, the revenues, I don't know what time they're going to release the revenues. Whether it's in the morning Chinese time. Or in the morning <coughs> UK time. Or in the morning US time. I think they should release it Chinese time. And um, it should be good. Yeah, we're looking at the one hour chart here. Let's pull it, see if there's any movement. Because it seems to have slowed down. Got that big spike and it seems to have got stuck. That might be a good sign. That might be a good sign that the price is going to jump up. It does that. It does that. It like gets stuck and then it jumps up. It's possible, guys. It's possible. But um, yeah, I think it's gonna jump up. I think the revenues will be good. I'm pretty sure that will be good because you got to think, right, guys? That the Chinese, they are very, very aggressive in promoting you know people to buy evs so obviously like neo is not the only ev company ev maker electric vehicle maker obviously there's other companies but because the chinese government and you know in china it's authoritarian what they say you must do so if they say, right, you get rid of your gas car by next month or we lock you up or you know, put your limits on your social credit score or whatever, and the people must do it. They must uh, obey, obey the masters, right? Obey the communist master. So, so they go out and buy a vehicle. It might be from Neo. It might be from... BYD might be from wherever, blah, 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 right? So 
obviously Neo is not the biggest EV maker, but sales are going to filter down to Neo. You know. Plus, Neo have got that because they've got the battery swapping, you know, stations. People might like that, like the idea. Also, it's like an excuse for them. They don't have to always charge it at home. They can, they can get out. It's a bit like when you're in lockdown, you can't go out unless you've got an excuse. <laughs> So what I'm thinking is that, you know, the Chinese, they are more or less in lockdown all the time, every day. You know what I mean? Like, their life is in lockdown, whether they know it or not. I mean, they're, they're, cat, they're on camera everywhere. Everything's a social credit score. But what I'm trying to say is, like, right, the Chinese charging, so they go to the battery swap, if they get stopped, by the, um, the police say where are you off to I'm a officer you know my um, battery's running low I've got to get to the um, battery swap alright carry on on your way and go straight back home alright yes so that's what they do right so they might they might be thinking right I'll, I'll buy a Neo car because I've got no excuse then. If I buy a BYD, they'll say you charge it at home or whatever. You know, the lamppost or whatever, and you drive or in your garage, whatever. So, anyway, the point is all jokes aside, guys, all jokes aside. <laughs> all jokes aside. I'll see a moving shadow there. Anyway, guys, like all jokes aside, point is that, as I said, sales filter down. And it's, it's a serious, it's, it's serious because that's what happens in China. When they say, right, we're going over to electric, yeah, it's, 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 they do it quicker. When they say, right, we want to be electric by 2030, it's like 60, 70% of our vehicles. China, they make it happen, right? They make it happen, but in the West, look, they're backtracking in the West, they're backtracking, and they're jealous in a way because they can't, you know, they can't meet the demand. Like, not that there is a big demand, but they, they're not promoting the demand. They're, they're not promoting EVs to make it, you know, for a demand. And it, all, all you get in the West, right, is traffic jams caused by the people in power because they block, block roads, you know, block this road, block that road. And then when they block roads, keep everyone on the main road, that's what causes traffic. If they was just to open up all the roads, traffic would flow, you see. There'd be less traffic, you know, because it would be moving. But... Obviously, they want to keep everyone on the main road because they're charging people to go through what they call congestion zones. So they force you, in a way, to go through congestion zones. And then, if you're not in a congestion zone, you're sitting in traffic, avoiding a congestion zone. And obviously, that's costing fuel even if you're not paying a charge, it's costing fuel, etc. So the point is that the West are failing. That's, that's what I want to say, right? To sum up, the West are failing to meet the targets. They're failing in the, in the EU, they're failing in the UK, they're failing in, the, in America. They were talking about 2030, and now they've extended it to 2035. Right, where China can meet 20, 30, 60, 70 percent of the vehicles or whatever, and that's what they're jealous about. Not only that, China can obviously make cars quicker and cheaper and better quality in some, you know, respects, better quality and also better technology. And the West are 
talking about tariffs because on Chinese EVs because they obviously they're scared of China they think they're going to steal secrets from the West but they've already stolen secrets for goodness sake I mean they don't need any more secrets they're making EVs they're making warships they're making planes you know fighter jets they've got nuclear right nuclear bombs they've got like rockets that go to space etc go to the moon what, what else do you what, what do they think they're going to steal next it doesn't make sense right so the point is guys that neo might look at it now and think oh it's nothing it's like that comment that donut i told you sent me you might think neo's nothing now but in years to come, and not that many years, guys, could be 20, 20, end of 25, 26. The price of Neo could really, 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 really take off really fast, like Tesla did. Look at Tesla stock. And Tesla, really, the way it rose and stayed up, it's like a, it's like a meme stock price really right what we need to see is steady growth with neo proper proper growth proper sales you know in in, in all the countries are expanding and then Te uh, neo could be bigger than tesla in, in years to come it could be bigger than tesla guys that's what i reckon the price seems to stuck. It seems to have got stuck at the moment, guys. There's something going on. There's something big brewing. I'm telling you, like it's going to explode. I reckon it's going to shoot up. Price has got stuck, guys. I'm going to change the chart again. Five minute chart. You see that jump, guys? I'm not like, like, you see it. Right, it's the same. That's the same. 482. It's got stuck there. You see how that jumped? I'm telling you guys, something's brewing. Something wants to go to the moon. I predicted it. It's just not just in this video, guys. You go back in my other videos. I said we're looking at nine dollars. We're looking at nine dollars. There has to be something wrong if it don't go to nine dollars. Because I've checked. I've checked. I've double checked. I called it right all the time, guys. It's going to be big, right? So, this is it. We just have to keep watching it. Obviously, I can't watch it all the time. But even it's possible that, you know, a short squeeze could be coming as well for Neo stock. A short squeeze. Because there's... um. You know, there's high short interest in Neo. It's, it's way oversold. I mean, look at this jump in pre-market. Look at this jump, guys. And it's still moving up. It's still moving up, but it's stuck. It's stuck. It doesn't know what it wants to do. It's like it wants to fly. I predicted this, guys. Go back in my videos. I predicted it. But um, yeah, I think I think it's big big news coming. Not financial advice, by the way. It's only my opinion. Yeah, based on my opinion is based on the, my research of the price action. So I think um, we just have to keep an eye on it. Um, the firefly is going to be big. And um, I think sales are going to go through the roof, guys. Neo stock. So, let's see what happens on the 20th. It's the 20th now. It's the 20th in China, right? And it's the 20th in the UK, right? So, the world is turning, guys. The world is turning. And sales are increasing.
increasing. The unstocked sales are increasing. So let's look forward to diamond hands, guys. Diamond hands. You know, if you're a Neo holder, diamond hands. You know, the future is with us, guys. It's just a matter of time on the Neo stock.